Alright boys, welcome back to another episode of level 0 to max inside of Roblox Blocks Fruit. So last time we just hit level 1000 and also I just looked and we just actually upgraded our hockey. So we have the full torso now and the arms upgraded. So now we just need to do the legs. So we're actually doing pretty good with that. And um, this episode we're going to focus on getting to level 1250. And then after that we're going to focus on trying to get the goal race today. We're going to be continuing off today at the Snow Mountain, boys. And then I think we head back to the cursed cruise ship or something like that and then once we go there we can start actually grinding to get the goal race and it should go pretty smooth after that so without further ado let's get to killing these guys so and also if you look at the bottom left where my double xp stuff is uh you can actually see that it ends in 17 and a half hours which means we've got to level 1000 in about six and a half hours or something like that we made some pretty good progress we're making pretty good progress pretty fast also i need to turn on my volume bro it's so quiet i want to hear my opponents die i want to make sure they're dying all right, so I believe we have to kill these guys to about 1025, and then we can kill the other guys to 1050, and then I think we go back to the curse or the haunted island, but we go in the ship that time. I don't know. Also, last episode, I did start actually upping my melee and my defense, which is good, but this one, I'm going to completely focus on sword uh, because my melee, I'm happy with for right now, and defense, I'm, it's okay for right now until we get to the third C, so uh, I'm going to just try to focus on getting sword. Hey, wait, hold on. I forgot to get the quest. I forgot to get the quest. All right, so let's do a, a damage update here. So I'm doing about... 1600 damage per hit now we're actually in the big leagues boys we're almost doing 2000 damage per hit which is pretty crazy whoa boys i was wrong we're actually gonna be on this island for about i think 100 levels because this quest actually goes to 1050 not 1025 bro all right well i guess we're gonna be stuck here for a while so uh might as well start uh, writing like a love letter telling my loved ones telling them i'm gonna be gone for forever i'm stranded on the top of this mountain my hands are freezing my butt cheeks have icicles growing out of them. Hey, yo, what the f***? But man, I am doing the big boy numbers. I'm doing the very big boy numbers right now. All right, but anyways, besides my big boy numbers and my love story, we have about mm, 22 more levels to go. Also, my stomach is killing me, man. I might have to go poop during this. Much better. Okay. Bruh. All right, boys. This should be our final quest of killing these snow troopers. And then after that, we can cross the bridge and go kill those NPCs as well, man. Uh, yeah. So we're going to cross that bridge and we're going to get to, I think it's going to take us to level 1100 after we uh, do this next quest. And then we should be able to go back to the boat and get gold. I believe. I believe that's right. Oh my gosh. But really, how can we be that close, but so far away at the same time? Hold on. I just need to kill a couple NPCs. There we go. All right, we are set. Let's go ahead and start killing these winter warriors now, boys. And also, look at this. Boom, 1,800 sword. So now I do about 1,800 damage, which is insane, actually. All right, the only thing that sucks about this quest is I literally have to cross this bridge to go talk to the quest guy. Like, why can't he just, like, you can tell him where to go? Like, if you don't want him to sit here, you can be like, hey, bro, can you go across the bridge? I'm doing that now. All right, boys, we officially have accepted our final quest for the snow mountain. All right, so we just got to kill a couple more winter warriors here. Oh, this guy's throwing a tantrum and beating my feet down. Anyways, we got to kill a couple more Winter Warriors here, and then we should be level 1100. We want to get that race unlocked so we can maybe get it to V2 or V3 in this series at some point. All right, so let's see here. All right, perfect. Oh, I have to go to Hot and Cold, really? Let me go ahead and buy this, and let's go to Hot and Cold then. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't remember the leveling at all in this game, which obviously you could tell, but that's fine. Oh, hello. Excuse me. I don't need you right now. Thank you. Well, let's start by killing some lab subordinates. Hmm. I love lab subordinates. Yeah, well, I think we're going to definitely pass our level goal this episode because we wanted to get to 1250, but I think we're going to need to get to at least 13 or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we're actually going to be grinding for a little bit longer today in this episode than I thought we were going to be. It's going to be a grind today, boys. We have a lot we have to accomplish. However, these quests on these islands or this hot and cold area always seem to go pretty fast. At least it did for me the first time. So it shouldn't be too long here. And then after I think we complete all this, then we go back. Something like, bro, I don't remember the level. I'm so tired, man. All right, boys, our last quest of killing these idiots, and then we have to go kill some horn warriors and then kill Smoke Admiral. We have so much grinding to do, man. I didn't realize how much we still had, but the good thing is, is this will set us up for success. We'll get our race unlocked. We'll get prepared to get to C3 by the next episode. <gasps> uh -oh. 
bless my soul. I beg your pardon. All right, so let's kill this last guy here. And boom, this quest has been finalized and completed. Also, sword is now in the 2000. So we're doing about 2000 damage per hit now, which is insane. Um, and now let's go ahead and get our horned warrior quest. So we got to kill these guys to level 1150, which isn't too bad. All right, so let's start destroying these boys and looping around. So yeah, I wish the quest dude was just a little bit closer to some of these guys, but whatever. I did have to take a little poopy break, but you know, that's, that's fine. All right, so this should be our last set of Horde Warriors that I killed. Then we can grind the Smoke Admiral boss, which should actually be the probably the easiest part of this episode, dude. I swear that guy is so easy to kill, and he just stacks you with XP. And bam, boys. I got two level ups just at once right there. That was actually pretty cool. All right, so there we go. So I believe he should be spawning, because I have been in the server for like an hour now, or like an hour and a half or something like that. So he should be able to just spawn in right away, or he should already be over there. So let's go ahead and just run back and forth. Let's go ahead and shift back up actually i don't know if i was supposed to do yeah i can't fit through the door bro might be able to just kill him like this normal i can't see all right there we go that was our first kill now i just got to do that multiple more times well, i think i have to do it to level 1175 carefully don't touch that lava okay let's go right in here go to buddha and then let's just beat this dude up real quick Actually, does a lot of damage, bro. Maybe I'm so used to having so much health, and that's why I, I always think he's so easy to kill, but maybe I do need to start upgrading my defense a little bit, because these bosses are getting pretty strong. My sword is almost to max, though. We're so close to maxing out sword, so I really don't want to have to, like, start upgrading other stuff, but I might have to, bro. I gotta get my defense up fast. Anyways, let's beat this guy up a couple more times, and uh, then get over to the hot, steamy zone with him. Hello there, you smoking hot man. Mm. It's time for you to die one more time for me. Does that sound like something you want to do? Well, too bad. You're doing it. All right, so Spoke Admiral has been defeated multiple times. Uh, and now I can go ahead and talk to this guy, the Fire Quest Giver, and do some Magma Ninjas and then kill these guys over here. Let's go ahead and get these guys destroyed real quick. So these guys are pretty easy to kill. And this one, actually, they spawn in at a decent time. So once you get, like, a good pattern going on, you just follow that pattern around. And I think, well, actually, I think they give you, this one gives you, what, seven kills? Six. Okay, and then you just follow the pattern around. And it's like, you know, it's pretty easy. You just do a little merry-go-round there. Look at all these stat points I have ready, bro. We got 69 stat points ready. That's a funny number. You naughty, naughty, are you teasing me? All right, boys, we just have to kill two more of these guys, and then we are on to our next quest and killing some horn warriors, and then uh, we'll be at the level 1200s. So I don't remember if you have to kill horn warriors until you get to 1250, or if it's just 1225. I, I almost want to say it's 1225. Could be wrong, but let's go ahead and just kill these, start killing these boys. All right, boys, we're literally about to hit level 1250. However, a shiver runs down your spine. I forgot that I need to be killing the cursed pirate leader captain whatever his name is to actually get the health torch so i can actually get the goal race so we're gonna go up in here and kill him real quick and hopefully we get a good chance i believe the chance to drop it is five percent however we do have the two times boss drop percentage thingy mabob so that should get us you know about 10 percent chance so this guy is pretty hard to kill actually so i'm probably gonna die honestly but we'll try my best here i do do a lot of damage to him so that's good uh but yeah he does a lot of damage back so i gotta be careful i'm probably gonna die a couple times but that's fine i can just run back up and try to fight him again but as long as we get that torch that's all we need and then we just can't die after that uh and I, i'm praying i get the torch bro because if i don't it's gonna take literally forever to get this thing i should have been grinding for it sooner all right, I died, but he literally has a sliver, bro. He literally has a sliver of health. I shouldn't have died to that. Okay, hold on. All right, please give me that torch. Oh, yo, we got it. We got a first try. Let's go. And we got 10 ectoplasm. All right, so that was actually better than I thought. That, that actually worked out. Okay, so now I won't have to sit here and grind for that torch for like 20 hours straight. So that's good at least. Uh, now the, the challenging part, though, is I have to get 100 ectoplasm no matter what, bro, without dying, which I already got 10, which is a good start. I need about 90 more ectoplasm. And if I ever get close to dying, Dying, bro we gotta run because this it's gonna take forever to get this torch again dude like we, we got lucky that we got it our first shot there so uh, if something happens <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna book it, man. If we're about to die, we're gonna book it. All right, so he's gotta kill one more lava pirate, boys. And we are now level 1250 officially, which means we can go ahead and start our quest. Um, and also, the only thing is, I gotta, I gotta probably not fight with Buddha so much in here because there's not a lot of space for Buddha to be used. But at least my sword's doing the good damage. All right, boys, there's one ectoplasm. We got like 79 to go. Oh. 78 to go okay this might not actually be that bad so we got to get all the ectoplasm that we possibly can get so we can get this race unlocked man maybe i should just level up my health a bit so i can just make sure i don't die bro all right there's some level ups there let's go ahead and just start putting some more oh, i put in the melee 
All right, boys, I actually found a strat while playing around in this area with Buddha. So if you actually equip your sword, you know, do your shift lock. And if you side dash and then dash forward into a doorway, you can actually go through the doorways while you're in Buddha transformation. And this is with Buddha V2 since you, you're a lot bigger in Buddha V2. But yeah, if you just do a little dash sideways and then instantly turn and then go forward, uh, you can actually maneuver through these doorways pretty easy, which is actually pretty awesome. So anyways, a little progress update. Two more levels of our max sword, okay? And then ectoplasm, I only need about 60 more. So we're doing pretty good. We're almost there. Go ahead and kill this last guy here. And boom, sword is now maxed out. And we're only on C2. We have max sword on C2, which is perfect. And now we're going to fully focus on... I keep pressing melee, but we're going to fully focus now on defense. And then we'll do melee last. All right, boys, we have officially passed the level 1300 mark. And we only need one ectoplasm. So we're going to go ahead and get one more of these quests on the ship stewards here. And then I think we should be able to just kill like one or two of them and get the last ectoplasm. And then get our race unlocked, boys. So... Oh, there we go. We got enough ectoplasm to go ahead and get the ghoul race unlocked now. So let's go ahead and go up to this dude and let's buy that race. Would you like to trade 100 ectoplasm for ghoul race? Yes, I would. All right, boys, there we go. We have now switched over to the ghoul race and we are ready to get this thing to V2 or V3, whatever, next episode. But uh, let's go ahead and finish one more quest here and just get a little bit more XP so we can level up our defense just a little bit more. All right, there we go. That quest has been completed as well. Get some defense and we are good, boys. We made a lot of progress today. We got sword to max. We started upping our defense. We got to level 1300, almost 2 million bounty. And we got our ghoul race unlocked, as you can see here. So next episode, we're going to focus on getting this to V2 or V3. And then we're going to get to the third C. So it's been a lot of grinding today. It is time for me to take a break. But I will see you guys in the next episode. And thanks for tuning in. Much love. Mwah.